The Lens Studio 5.0 Beta features major quality of life improvements to speed up your existing workflows, new generative AI features to supercharge creation, and some critical overhauls to the way projects function that can benefit anyone building a lens. Let's dig in and learn more. The 5.0 Beta is a complete rewrite of the existing Lens Studio app. It is designed to deliver improvements that wouldn't have been possible otherwise. Don't fret, while this app is in beta, the latest version of Lens Studio 4.55 is still available for anyone to continue using and is encouraged for all production use cases. The first thing you'll notice is that loading the app is now significantly faster, so that you can get your creativity flowing as soon as inspiration strikes. You can also open multiple projects simultaneously. Multiple instance support is helpful when moving elements between lenses. You can copy and paste, and now drag and drop between projects too. To improve collaborative workflows and help protect against lost work, Lens Studio projects are now saved in a version control friendly format. This means that integrating with industry standard version control tools and practices, like iterating and managing versions within a Git repository, is now easier. Note, at this time, we do not have a native integration with VCS, but the new file formats are designed to be both more readable and to minimize possible merge conflicts if you're working with other creators on the same project. We know that every step in your workflow matters and this beta is designed to help you express your ideas as productively as possible. We've also introduced the History panel that for the first time allows you to keep track of changes, making it easier than ever to undo, redo, and apply changes. To speed up lens creation while expanding on the creative tools in your toolbox, the 5.0 beta features a number of generative AI features that are designed to work with many facets of lens creation. These new tools allow you to use natural language text prompts to generate textures, 2D and 3D face masks, and even full PBR materials for existing assets in your project. Texture generation puts a wealth of visual options at your fingertips. Generating tiling textures is only a matter of adding tileable to your prompt. Generated face masks are designed to work with Lens Studio's classic face mask editor. Now you can rapidly create and test new ideas in just a few minutes. Material generation is a powerful feature for quickly trying out new looks, and since all of the output files are compatible with popular material creation pipelines, getting the final details just right is fully within your creative control. The materials generated not only control mesh color, but are in fact complete PBR materials with generated albedo, metallic, roughness, and normal maps ready to be applied to your geometry. Advances in AI have profoundly changed the way we get information and extend our creative potential. To bring AI's power into your AR lenses, we're teaming up with OpenAI on the ChatGPT Remote API. Now you can leverage ChatGPT 3.5 in their lenses. This is a free tool. We've done all the heavy lifting, so you don't need to get your own API keys. It just works right there in the 5.0 beta. Generating text-based content for lenses will be extremely simple and can unlock new types of learning, conversational, and creative experiences for Snapchatters. This new API enables you to make calls to OpenAI's ChatGPT from within a lens, passing the end user's responses through the API, which trigger interactions in your lens. These interactions can range from displaying responses to queries via text-to-speech, creating a lens that can execute tasks iteratively to create simple agents, all the way up to calling custom functions and controlling parameters with your lens. But with great power comes the need for great moderation. So by default, all user prompts are run through Abusive Language Detection, or ALD, to ensure that everyone has a safe experience. The Lens Studio 5.0 Beta also includes many updates to the interface. For example, the Objects panel has been renamed to the Scene Hierarchy panel, and the Resources panel has been renamed as the Asset Browser panel. 
The scene hierarchy, scene, and inspector panels have all been updated to support multiple instances. This enables users to edit multiple objects simultaneously or to modify prefabs in one panel while simultaneously viewing the scenes the prefabs are being used in in another. New changes allow multiple inspectors to be open simultaneously so that the inspector won't change focus when selecting other items in the scene hierarchy or scene asset panels. This can make copying or editing properties of multiple items much more fluid than in previous versions, which were limited to a single inspector at a time. Inspectors now have an inline editor allowing you to modify referenced objects without changing selection. You can also optionally expand the inspector via the Open Full Inspector button to reveal the properties of all components. The Preview panel now supports multiple views at the same time, so you can view and edit a connected lens more accurately and preview how the lens behaves in the front and back camera simultaneously. The Preview window improvements empower developers to see how their user interfaces will look across an array of devices with different resolutions and aspect ratios. Explore the new interactive environment that showcases your AR experience in both sunlit and evening lighting scenarios. Materials have been updated to function as a container for multiple shaders, referred to as passes, each of which can be updated via the Shader Graph Editor. This new functionality removes the tedious and error-prone nature of updating shaders across multiple materials by allowing you to reuse the same shader pass in multiple materials with different properties. The Lens Studio 5.0 Beta is a major improvement in productivity and empowering creativity of AR creators. We encourage early adopters to test and provide feedback on the beta version until it's ready for a full release. We can't wait to see what you create.